What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and today Apple released iOS 13 Beta 5. Now, I am still on Beta 3 on this device. So today's video, I'm going to be showing guys how to update to the latest iOS 13 Beta 5 and also all the cool new features. If that sounds interesting, let's jump right in. All right, so guys, how to install iOS 13 Beta 5. If you are on iOS 12 or just any beta of iOS 13, it's the same process. So what you want to do is open up Safari, click on the link that will be down below in the description. Description. Go ahead and scroll down. Make sure this is open up inside the Safari app, not YouTube. If it does open up inside the YouTube app, tap on the Safari icon. But over here for iOS 13 Beta 5, tap on the download button right there. It'll go ahead and download the profile, hit allow, and hit close. And now we are good to go on that part. Simply X out of there, open up the settings application. And now what you want to do is head over to profile, download over there. Or you can tap on general over here in settings and then tap on profiles device management at the bottom. Now over there, there it is. Let's go ahead and tap on it just to make sure. iOS 13, there you go. So let's go ahead and tap on install in the top right, enter your passcode. And this is 100% verified, so it is safe and good to go. And there you go. So it's asking you to restart your device. From my experience, I did actually skip this step, but just to be safe, let's go ahead and restart our device. So let's go ahead and restart right here. It's gonna go and restart real quick. All right, so this is a big monster update. As a ton of new features, and I'm super excited that's I'm covering it in this video. All right, he looks tiny now. Okay, but anyways, what you wanna do now, once your device is restarted and you're back in, is open up settings, and then simply head over to general and then software update. Here you guys will see that it is beta five in the latest version of iOS 13, there it is. And it is 3.28 gigabytes on my device. Of course, this will vary. If you're on a later version of iOS 13, it'll be less big of a file size but for me it's pretty big so let's go ahead and download and install it and there we go it says up to requested soon it will start downloading this will take some time all right so my device booted back up let's go ahead and go through the setup screen so update complete let's say continue apple pay you can go ahead and set that up i'm just gonna set it up later in the wallet and now this is a new option right here in ios 13 beta 5 beta 5 now asks in the setup screen if users want to use a light mode or dark mode from the get-go so i choose dark of course it's going to hit continue and welcome to iPhone. So here we are. So right off the bat, that was already one new feature. Now what else is new? All right, so to start with, number one on iPad, you can now adjust the icon sizes. So you can opt for a four by five grid of apps on a home screen or six by five. Now the problem with the six by five is that there is an inch space at the top. So in my opinion, and many others, that does look pretty ugly. But if you do want more icons on your home screen, you can now do that. Number two, there are new achievements for move goals. So there are over 1,000 move goals now available in iOS 13 beta 5. Number three, haptic feedback is now in the new volume HUD. So when you turn the volume all the way up, you will now feel haptic feedback. Your phone vibrates. So that's nice a little touch. And apparently there are now 34 different points on which to adjust the volume level on iOS. Number four, you can now make the cursor on iPad OS smaller. So if you want to do that, you can. Number five, this isn't CarPlay, but you can turn off album artwork if you want to do that. I don't know why you would want to do that, but now you have the option in Apple CarPlay. And number six, in the home app, there are more new wallpapers I could choose from. I think there's a total of six more new wallpapers. And number seven is when you go in and take a screenshot and the volume HUD is visible, it automatically disappears so it's not in your screenshot. And last but not least, number eight, in the share sheet on iOS 13 beta 5, the text over here is now white instead of that neon blue, which is nice. All right, so guys, this is iOS 13 beta 5. Enjoy the update. This is the Hackspot. Peace.